Hi everyone, my name is Mark and I'm from the Philippines. I am here to give you some tips about candle making. So just a little background about myself. I started making candles since 2018 and it was just a hobby until I, I moved forward to making a business out of it. And um, through my candle making journey, I started making videos so most of the contents of my channel are in Filipino since I wanted to help the Filipino community who is into candle making. But um, this time I want to, I, I want my ideas to reach across the globe and uh, just to help anyone who might be interested in candle making and share my thoughts about um, certain concerns with making candles. So I recently started using beeswax for my candles and they immediately gave me a wonderful output. So first comparing it with my palm wax. So this one was made with palm wax blended with soy wax. It doesn't have those cracks. So I don't know if you can see this, but so there are um, visible cracks, which you can see which perhaps is due to the property of the palm wax which is more brittle in nature comparing it with beeswax because beeswax is much more like a nougat and um, it, it's like frozen butter that it's, it's really hard to slice and uh, chop off. However, I do love that it has this shiny finish compared with this this beeswax uh, model that I have. So um, it this one is more shiny. So it's, as, uh, if you can see that, let me adjust my lighting quite a bit. Uh, come on, work with me. So, um, this, can you see that, uh, the difference between the two? So, um, this white one is the one that I made with palm wax, and it is shinier than the one made with beeswax. But, um, again, it doesn't have those uh, visible cracks. Well, yeah, there is a crack, but I'm not talking about that crack. Um, compare it with this other one, which is a lot softer. I mean, it's a lot smoother. And it doesn't have that frosting. So, talking about frostings, um, I, I also have this... Uh, this green one is a cactus candle that I made using paraffin and soy blend. And as you can see, this parasoy blend has frosting at the bottom of the candle. Well, let me just that. You can see that. So it has these um, white discoloration at the surface which aren't present at the tips of this candle. So I, I think these are micro bubbles which makes sense because um, when you are making uh, candles with molds so it, it goes off as a uh, it's bottom side up so the bubbles will rise to the top of the mold which when you demold your candles um, it will appear at the bottom of your finished model. But this one that I made, um, unlike, unlike this beeswax, soy wax blend that I made, it is a very smooth finish and it doesn't have any frosting at all. So the reason why I'm using um, palm wax and paraffin wax um, is that I wanted to... Uh, make my candles more uh, solid for, uh, since soy wax naturally is very crumbly so it, it, it's like um, grated cheese uh, so I, I tried 
adding other components so that I can make um, these uh, decorative candles. But that's when I learned about beeswax, which has this nougat-like uh, properties which also makes my candles um hard enough for them to be decorative and also i didn't add any uh dye or color uh dye powders and liquid dyes for this one and it, it comes off as a natural yellowish finish so I, i'll have to look for ways on how to make these white but I also do love this um, color that it has. So I'm looking forward to working with beeswax um, than the usual paraffin wax that I've been using. It's a lot uh, more expensive than paraffin wax, but if it gives me this smooth and solid finish, I wouldn't mind changing from paraffin to beeswax. So that's about it. Uh, let me know if you have tried beeswax as well. And if you have the same struggles with palm wax or with paraffin wax so that we can look into that. And thank you for your time for watching this video. I hope you can click the subscribe button at the bottom of the page. And also uh, give me a thumbs up. Thank you.